Alright, so it's about like 3 in the morning right now. Actually, 3.34 to be exact. And this is actually the only time I've had to make a video. And um, uh, for those of you asking how to get Windows 7 on Android, I'm about to show you guys how to do that. And right now we're here is Evo. And then this right here is the Huawei Ascent already running it. You can see right here. So let's get started. <coughs> so what you want to do is go to your market obviously. And we're gonna let this shit load up right quick. Alright, so you're gonna wanna search for oh, as you can see right there, 334 in the morning. Yeah, it's it's kinda late. Kinda tired too, but fuck it. You're gonna wanna search for Android 7. The word seven. Oh shit. You're gonna, um, pretty much gonna have to buy it. Cost roughly about eight bucks. And I already have it. I'm not gonna be stupid enough to buy it. Although there is a free version if you want to get that one, but the free version comes with like uh, less features. Like, well, if you get the free version, you'll see what, what what's the less features about it. So, well, yeah. Well, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna download that, and when it's done, you're gonna pretty much press your home button. It's gonna ask you something for like uh, Android Seven or HTC Sense on the Evo, and Canvas or uh, Android Seven on the Huawei Sand, and or like something else on other phones, and it's gonna open up. And right now, I have a free version. That's why there's an ad right here, but. On this one, I have the full version, no ad at all. So, um, yeah, so you're gonna see that right here's your like quick launch bar, and then we go to your recent apps, and right here, like the little clock widget. The, I mean, not the widget, but the little clock shin right here. Edit the volume, and I'm kind of tired, so yeah. Um, you have five home screens, but uh, on the full version you could edit it to have more. And um, well, let's just do a quick run through right here. See, and the, all programs, and then right here's all your apps you have downloaded. And um, I had the full version on the Evo, but I had to get rid of it. So now I have the free version. I'm not trying to pay for it again. So I'm keeping the free version on the Evo for a little while. And then the Huawei Sun has the full version. So the things you can do is like documents, it's basically a file explorer. And then my computer is basically a file explorer but for your phone like it explores the files on your phone and this one documents pretty much your SD card and as you can see performance is actually very good it doesn't it doesn't lag on the Evo it's it's doing very great um let me just open up a few more apps so you can see how the quick launch bar works Let's just open up internet. Alright, that opened up. Let's open up. Um, uh, goggles. That's done. 
Uh, let's open up something else. Let's just open up M64 OED, which is um, which is uh, oh shit, which is a uh, uh, M Intel 64 emulator for the Android platform. And it should start up right now. how the quick launch bar works, your reason apps are right there at your fingertips basically swipe left to right and you'll see all of them it's it's a pretty cool thing also you can see your final home screens right here if you hold down to it on it as you can see since I just downloaded this app like a little while ago I don't have shit on it and I really do suggest getting the paid version to uh, support the developer. So more updates. I don't know something else might come out. In and also, getting the free version just comes with like a lot more features and shit. So I highly recommend it. Uh, that you look at this for a little while. Pretty much showed you how to get it and how it runs. And I'll show you it right now on my Huawei SN. Just um. Well, yeah. It's fucking. Oh wait, you can't see it. Oh, and uh, if you uh. Um, oh yeah, I know you guys are gonna ask me this, so I'm gonna talk about it right now in the video. So, there's no comments about it, and yeah. So, since there's an ad right now, you're not gonna see a test bar. But also, on the, fr on, on the free version, I mean the paid version, you don't see the test bar right there, where you're supposed to see it. And, uh, there's an easy way to get it. Um, one way that usually works, not all the time though is you go to your internet browser or any application and then you just hold it Ah oh, shit I forgot let me just make this not full screen you know what I'm just gonna switch browsers like this right so you go to your internet browser and then your t your your, ta your uh your bar right here you're gonna hold it and then press the home key well that usually works didn't work this time. Well, it, it, it works on the fucking, on the Huawei Sun. Uh, another way to do it is uh, to put your phone in landscape mode and just go like this with your finger. And there you go. Well, while, while it's switching, just like tap. Like like if you were pulling down the bar, just go like that. And it, it appears now that you, now that when you go like this, and there you go. There's your there's your uh, notification bar or your task bar whatever the fuck you want to call it see and like you just pull it down you pull it down and, and yeah and that's how you do it so so you don't have to waste your time and ask that's how you do it like it seems nobody knows how to do it but you just found out and then um, right here we have the Huawei Ascend. You can compare both phones. Hmm, that's not good. There you go, autofocus. Here you go, the ear runs. It runs great on both. You can see right there. Whoops. Fuck. 
Alright, there you go. Runs great on both responsive and not slow. And you can see right here that there's no, there's a paid version and you see there's no uh, uh, taskbar. Same thing as you do on the on the Evo, you do on this one. Too. And there you go, and now you have it. And that's my longish video on how to get Windows 7 on Android. Evo, Huawei 7. Both running it perfectly. So.